हाई एवरी वन वेलकम वेलकम टू वेलनेस मंच you know kidney disease is one of the major major problem which has like if you have someone at home and uh, you know you are making meal for them every single day this is what you must be following there are eight rules that uh, those are like golden rules and there is no negotiation going to happen okay so you cannot bend any of the rules you just have to follow them as it is number 1 use no salt for cooking why because generally what happen when the patient is having any kidney disorder their urinary volume their urine volume is very low right so there is a chance of circulatory overload and high um, like blood pressure right it increase the blood pressure it increase the water retention and all that now if you have sodium sodium is you know an element which actually helps to retain water how much like one uh, one molecule of sodium will help will actually try to uh, retain four molecules of water so you can understand how much important is this right so you got to be completely low on sodium the diet has to be low on sodium now what is the best way to keep the diet low on sodium avoid table salt or any common salt for that matter what you can do just stop using salt for cooking yes i know it's it sounds disgusting like how can a person eat food without adding any salt in the diet here is a trick okay cook the food without adding any salt in it but you are allowed to have 1 teaspoon like the patient is allowed to have 1 teaspoon of salt every single day now what do you need to do you need to divide it into three parts okay one part for the lunch one part for the dinner and one part for breakfast or snack okay so divide that 1 teaspoon of salt into three parts and then take that part along in a you know in a side dish and take a toothpick okay hear me out take a toothpick dip the blunt part of that toothpick in the salt take it on the toothpick and then just touch it just touch the toothpick inside of your both the side of the tongue okay so basically okay these two sides these two sides of the tongue so what you need what the patient needs to do suppose he is having one spoon of salt free food and after uh, gulping it or before taking the food in the mouth ask them to do this procedure dip the toothpick whatever minuscule of you know salt will be there ask them to touch it in both the side and then take a spoonful of food if they are doing it they will not get the sense that the food has no salt because there are the salt receptors and the moment you are actually um, like you are satisfying the receptors with a pinch of salt like a, a dot of salt it's fine then the patient can handle food cooked without using any salt so try this hack this is very very important so the first golden rule is stop using salt in food okay you got to be completely low on salt now many people ask how about lona like low sodium salt which are available in the market i know many they have started using low sodium salt and you know that is like a bring like inviting a disaster for your patient why because low sodium salt means high potassium salt okay so that is even more dangerous for the patient 
there are few items which have to be restricted if that's a kidney patient what are those sodium potassium phosphorus protein fluid and sugar okay so these six items has to be curbed has to be reduced now you cannot use low sodium salt thinking like okay fine i'm doing something great to my patient no you are not you're actually inviting trouble okay so don't make that mistake so this is the trick how to satisfy your uh, you know patient with even if you are not adding any salt in the food number one number two try to control um, you know giving sugar to the food of course like most of the uh, you know kidney patient they are also diabetic correct now since they are also diabetic what happen you need to in any ways you need to curb your uh, sugar intake as well what do you do maximum you can utilize one to two teaspoon of sugar in a day okay so you can use them wisely in your food in your cooking wherever you feel uh, it's okay to use that's up to your choice but the upper limit is one teaspoon to two teaspoon of sugar max and hear me out i'm saying teaspoon not tablespoon okay so this these are the these are the second uh, uh, golden rule that you must follow that the third one is wash everything why because uh, you know uh, kidney patients they cannot handle any kind of food toxicity or any kind of food poisoning so what you need to be extra careful with their food hygiene what do you need to do you need to wash every single food items uh, you know before cooking um, uh, you know very carefully so that the patient doesn't get any kind of cross infection all right uh, wash the vessels wash the utensils very uh, carefully wash all the grains all the vegetables fruits very very thoroughly in fact wash 3 to 4 times like literally you got to spend some time for washing purpose after washing the fourth point the very important point is chop small boil more what is that chop small boil more it's again a thumb rule why you got to chop all the vegetables uh, that you are giving to the patient as small as possible like very finely chopped vegetables and boil them more like first of all you are going to wash them thoroughly 3 to 4 times and then you chop the vegetable like peel it off first and then chop the vegetables finely in a smaller pieces and then add you know uh, too much of like extra water to it and then boil it okay add extra water boil it so that you can discard the boiled water then after that again add extra water and again boil it so basically you are going to boil every item two times okay so that is very very essential why so much of boiling and extra water so that you can leach out the potassium as i mentioned before potassium load has to be low on the diet
you know any packaged or processed food like instant food you uh, take for example they are nothing but loaded with too much amount of refined sugar refined salt refined oil and everything but apart from that they are also loaded with additives and additives means they are high on phosphorus hear me out if you are taking animal protein like a uh, fish chicken meat egg like that they also contain phosphorus and those phosphorus are well absorbed in your body if you are having any pulses or any dal or any veg, uh, like any veg source of protein their uh, phosph uh, phosphorus is generally in the phosphate form which are uh, treated well if you treat them well like if you soak them before and then you cook them well then this phosphates get eliminated and it is partial it's it's hardly it uh, you know absorbed in human body but if you are having any kind of processed food that inorganic phosphate that will absorbed in your body to the 100% which a kidney patient cannot afford another point is try to plan the menu around a grain like what always pick a grain like you know generally what happen there's there's a four meals a day right breakfast lunch evening snack dinner pick one one grain for each uh, meal like as i have mentioned just now for breakfast if you are choosing oats for the evening snack choose uh, white bread okay like that so you got to plan uh, you got to choose a grain and then plan the dish around it then life will become more and more simple okay how since most of the uh, renal patients are also diabetic also hypertensive so mm, the best way is you know add chopped vegetables in it and make some kind of a preparation these are the you know uh, like broad points which you need to follow uh, when you are before cooking food for a uh, you know renal patient